caramel candy. Kiss hug. Is that what that means? Ooh. And now I'm getting like garlic from the chicharron. I wonder how that's gonna mix with the, uh, what is this? Mmm, garlic butter caramel. Woo! That smells nice. Oh, look how cute it is. Oh, isn't it just per perfection? Mmm, it's actually not that sweet. Automatically gets two points, because I find sometimes things can be too sweet for me. And so I have to eat less. And I don't like eating less. Really chewy. Mmm. Oh, be still my heart. Ten. <laughs> so I don't like you. Try another one? Sure, Samantha, why not? This is coffee candy. I don't know what's... Seriously, is there something wrong with my fingers? Ooh, it's so cute! Jack. Jill. Ten. It's strong, man. It's not too sweet. It's actually a bit sweeter. I mean, what is that? Butterscotch caramel? It's a little bit sweeter than that, but it's not milky. This one, not so chewy. More crunchy. We got two candy left, but I'm gonna save them for later. Barbecue flavored cracker chips. This smells like something I used to eat in my childhood, but I can't, I don't remember what it was. Maybe it was shapes. Do you guys have shapes in the Philippines? The, like the Australian, I think it's Arnott's shapes. Oh man. If you don't, please try and order it online somewhere. They are the bomb.com. This tastes a little, ugh. stop saying taste, Simona. You haven't tried it. You're just smelling it, okay? This smells really good. Jack and Jill know how to do crunch. Interesting. First bite, I wasn't keen. It tasted really sweet, but the more I chew, it's not bad at all. This is quite enjoyable. I would give this a six and a half out of 10, in case we're unclear what I'm rating. Tostillas, nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips. Am I gonna be? And you thought I couldn't open a packet of chips. I mean, come on. I'm like a professional. Snack eater. You know I love corn. It doesn't smell like corn. It smells like, it smells like soy and vegetable oil. I don't know. It tastes a little bit stale. Strong nacho cheese flavor. Yeah, I don't know why it tastes stale. Is it stale? It's not, has it expired? <clears throat> I would like to uh, edit my judgment. It expired 4th of February 2019. Am I gonna die? That would explain why it's stale. Okay. Moving on. Potato chips classic, barbecue flavor. It's very, very mild. Okay, this isn't bad. It's very mellow. It's a bit too mellow. Slightly salty, very, very, very faint barbecue taste, but it's not sweet at all. It's got no, no sweetness. I wouldn't say that it's smoky though, which is what it's described here as. I'm gonna go to five. I have tried you. Melon mint, what? I have three, three lilies left. Melon mint? That's gonna blow my mind. Okay, we're not, actually let's try it. I'm talking about it, let's try it. Melon mint. Like what kind of melon are we talking, you guys? Melon filled melon mint flavored candy. Cheers. It's really strange. The combination of melon and mint kind of works, kind of doesn't work. The scent has got a really strong melony taste. <laughs> melony taste. Melon flavor. It's interesting. It's novel. I definitely haven't tried anything like this before, but mm, It's not something I can just sit and eat through a packet of this. Whereas those butterscotch and coffee. I'm gonna give this a five Cheese curl. Cheese flavored corn curls. How cute is this little boy? With his big eyes and actually he's, he's really creepy. Oh, they're so cute. 
I thought they were gonna be bigger. These are trouble. Unfortunately, this is too good. Nine and a half. Multi-grain snacks. Ooh, this is like healthy junk food. If I was traded on the smell, I probably even wouldn't, wouldn't try this. If it wasn't for you guys, I'm not sure I would try this. But if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be trying all of these things. It smells like <laughs> vegetable oil. Vegetable oil and, oh, there is something, there is, there is a smell I know so well, but I just can't figure out what it is. And it's frustrating me beyond belief, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. They look interesting. I've tried similar things like this in Australia. This I think is cheesy, is it? It looks cheesy. Country cheddar flavor. Cheddar cheese is my favorite cheese, so. I just realized I forgot to turn that light on. Wait, don't move. Let's just pretend that this video is actually a success. Yeah, here we go, cheers. I see what they've done. And they haven't done a bad job. This, I guess, would be a healthier alternative to some of the other snacks, but it just, they taste better, you know? It's not bad, a five and a half. What is this? This is another, this is another biscuit one, savory biscuit. What is this? Sour cream and onion flavored cracker chips. I like sour cream and onion. Oh, it smells good. This one smells like sour cream and onion. Sour cream and chive, oh, that smells so good. It's exactly how sour cream and onion, sour cream and onion, sour cream and chives, onion. Okay, first impression, that definitely smells better than it tastes. It doesn't really taste how it smells. It's just, it's very, very mellow flavor and uh, really sweet. <laughs> oh, I really don't like the combination of sweet and like sour cream and onion. I'm gonna give this a six. We are getting to the end. You know why I'm excited about finishing this video? So I can go back and like properly snack on the things I like. Potato cuts. That's not correct, Simona. Potato chips, V cut, spicy barbecue flavor made from 100% real potatoes. I like 100% real potatoes. They're one of my favorite potatoes. I find these so cute when the, the ridges are really like fine. That smells nice. It doesn't smell like spicy barbecue though, but we'll see. Very, very, very mild. Like in terms of flavor, it's got like 20% flavor. It's very mild. This is good for people who don't like strong flavors and want to eat a lot of something. But I like it. The quality of the chip is really good. And I can taste the potato. Hmm. I'm getting a bit of warmth building up. It says that it's spicy, so it's got a picture of a potato with chilies for shoes. And he's running on hot coals. Can you imagine how much his feet must be burning? That's insanity, absolute insanity. These are really good, actually. I am thoroughly impressed with these. Original, initial reaction, eh, they're all right. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half. All right, let's do some sweet. Should we do this one? Let's do this one, because honestly, it's been like, staring at me this whole time. Do you guys like melted chocolate? I used to really like melted chocolate, but recently I've gotten into freezing chocolate. Literally putting it in the freezer for like a couple of hours, so it's not completely, ooh, I've tried this. Ooh, I can give you, I can give you a rating before I even take a bite out of it. I know, I know what I think. This is not good cold. This is good, kind of chewy. Kind of warm, I mean, because it's chewy. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a nine and a half. It's really good. It's kind of like a brownie condensed 
and then covered in chocolate. So you take a bite out of it, and it's super chewy, not very sweet. I'm not gonna keep eating this because I want something salty. I love that. But back to what I was saying, I like to freeze my chocolate, and then when I bite it, for some reason, it reminds me of like Easter eggs. You know when you get the Easter egg and it's like whole, hollow, and you take a bite and it's all crunchy? And I love that texture of crunchy chocolate at the moment, so I freeze it. It's like Easter every day. I'll try chocolate milk first, seeing as I just had chocolate, and I feel like it's not gonna mess up my taste buds. Chocolate and mint are like one of the best combinations. One of the best combinations ever, in my humble opinion. This feels a little bit bigger than the previous ones. Ten. 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 I haven't even gotten to the chocolate yet. But I can I can feel it oozing through the mint. Oozing through. I like to use very specific food terminologies. Mm. 10, 100% 10. Now it's stuck to my teeth. Mm. Let's try this next. No pork. Flavored, what? Flavored no pork? Is that like. What? I'm so confused. Can you guys please explain to me what this means? Why Why does it say no pork? It smells similar to the previous one. A little more sour and not so spicy. Ooh. I hope the texture is going to be different. Right off the bat, I think this is more sour. Is it just me or the texture feels a little bit different? I like this one more. Wow. Mmm. I'm gonna give this an eight and a half. What do I give the other one? A seven and a half, right? Eight and a half. I think this has lime. To save us some time because you're still turning off because of this heat, I have pre-opened the packet. So we've only got two things left. This one, potato chips classic. Sour cream and onion flavor. Why is it classic if it's sour cream and onion? Anyway, it's made from red potato chips apparently. These are thin cut. It smells a little bit like sour cream and onion. The other sour cream and onion smell much better. It expired 23rd of November last year. Stay. So I will refrain from reading. <laughs> last but not least, the honey lemon menthol candy. I think, is this for like when you have a cold or is this just candy candy? Like, am I eating cough? Cough drops? Is that what I'm eating right now? Am I eating medicine? Am I doing a medicine taste test? <clears throat> Should I? I love lemon. I don't really like honey. I mean, honey is okay. I had a very bad experience with honey in my childhood. But that's a story for another time. Let's get into this. That's good. That's really good. I like it. Eight and a half. It's a good thing to end on. I feel refreshed. My appetite is gonna come back any second now. And I'm gonna finish the snacks. All right, that's it guys. Thank you. Did I rate this? I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. I like it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. In the comments, let me know what you want me to taste test and I will do it. If there's any other theme you want me to do, like this was obviously a Jack and Jill theme. I'm dribbling. Uh, let me know and I will do it eventually. I really enjoy doing the theme. Please hit that notification button and give me a thumbs up and comment and head over to my Instagram and my Twitter and my Facebook. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.